Amanda the Adventurer had many of its ambiguous secrets unveiled in the full release, but still so many aspects are left unanswered, with the most baffling and intriguing one being who the mysterious person wearing a raincoat is towards the end at the secret ending. Efrai Lee, the protagonist of the game, manages to solve all the puzzles and find all the tapes. Agreeing to listen to Amanda's secret, the weather from a harsh stormy night changes into a bright sunny day, with a mysterious person in a raincoat opening the trapdoor to the attic and and startling rightly. The game ends at this point with no further explanation of who this person is and what will happen later. Majority of YouTubers have labeled this person as a detective as you get a detective kind of hat sticker when you get this ending. With a Steam achievement calling this simply the end with a question mark with a stake figure having a detective hat in a sunny field. So it's safe to say this person seems to be some sort of a detective by the hints given. But why is this ending called the end with a question mark? And why would there be a detective? We will get back to this a little later in the video. Apart from being a detective, most YouTubers have also theorized that this person is Rebecca's father, Sam, the creator of the show. The most important question here is why would this person come to the attic and how are they in any way connected to Riley or the Amanda show? Well, if you had the chance to watch my last videos about Amanda and its secrets, you'd know I theorized that this person is no other than Riley's aunt, Kate. Right off the bat, Aunt Kate bequeathed her house to Riley and wrote a final letter to her, explaining that she will possibly not see Riley anymore, at least not until the next world or another life. There's no mention of her actually dying and the letter is very cryptic, as Aunt Kate mentions that she wishes she could tell Riley everything. Knowing Aunt Kate was invested in investigating the strange disappearances surrounding the children who watched Amanda the Adventurer show, it's most likely the things she wanted to talk to Riley about where her findings. Now why would she seemingly willingly get herself in trouble and ask Riley to step in and get themselves in trouble too? Well, my theory is that the only way Kate could explore her findings and the results of investigation further would be to actually get taken into the virtual realm of Amanda and experience the vanishing for herself to collect more intel. But for this dangerous and risky investigative mission to be fruitful, she would have to somehow get back to the real world. This displays the selflessness of Aunt Kate and the length she's willing to go to rescue the missing children, even risking her own life. She seems to have trusted Riley so much to get her involved in this dangerous task to get her out, so she can get closer in achieving her goal of freeing the children from the cursed Amanda show. <laughs> Therefore, I believe this mysterious person is Kate, who willingly risked her life to travel to the unknown territories of Amanda's domain in order to find the missing children of Kensdale Town, her local town that she lived in. Riley, seemingly being an intelligent person, good at problem solving, seemed to be the right fit for this task. Towards the end, when Riley agrees to listen to Amanda's secret, the weather changes to a bright sunny day, a representation of the curse being lifted. This allows Aunt Kate, who was lost and wandering in the alternate dimension of Amanda, stuck in a never-ending stormy night, find her way back to the attic, to Riley's presence, back to the real world, to get back to her investigation. This is why this mysterious person would open the attic door and go there to Riley, as it is her home and she knew if things work out how she had in mind, she would be back there. She also told Riley that she would never see them again unless in the next life or world, which could be an indication that she meant the life or the world that she would be trapped in, Amanda's world. This is why she was wearing a raincoat, because she was stuck in this rainy world, never becoming dry or bright until after Riley manages to lift the curse and change the weather. That is only when Kate manages to find herself back to the house and eventually the attic, clearly being freed by Amanda. You might say the realm of Amanda as the digital cartoony world and the weather being dark and rainy has no connection whatsoever to the digital world of Amanda. But the truth is, Amanda's world and realm in encompasses much more than just the digital realm we see in the VHS tapes. The entire attic seems to be under her control, as when Riley is instructed to just leave, it becomes completely empty and dark, displaying how all the items within the attic were sourced and created by Amanda, being part of her realm. 
Even Amanda's alter ego, the hostile entity, makes appearances in the attic, being a lot more real than its digital shape. This means how Amanda has access to the real world, how she can manipulate and alter it, creating some sort of pocket dimension which shares attributes of both digital and real world. Amanda can also directly leave notes and newspaper articles to unveil more parts of her tragic backstory to communicate with Riley, as we see how they randomly appear in the attic. Riley can also access parts of the digital world going through the attic door, directly entering the butcher shop in the show, transforming into to a meat item. Therefore, it's fair to say the rainy weather outside is also part of Amanda's world, not only the attic. Therefore, Kate could very likely be stuck in the outside world after failing in one of Amanda's tests or puzzles which banished her outside in the stormy weather. This is just like how Riley could also be stuck in the butcher shop if by any chance failing at solving one of the puzzles. Amanda being the representation of Rebecca seems to be looking for the right person to let her soul rest easy and be freed from her torment of being trapped in a digital realm, possessed by a demonic entity which she suffers from every day and loses control to. When Riley manages to pass all of Amanda's tests and solve her puzzles, Amanda seems to trust her to share her secret. Her secret is that she is somewhere out there, possibly referring to her corpse or even physical trapped alive body, which needed rescuing to break this curse, freeing herself and all the other children. After Riley accepts to help Amanda through listening to her secret, Amanda shows how she in fact is a trapped victim here, suffering, which Riley takes initiative and destroys the TV. This act and her willingness to help shows Amanda that she can be trusted, hence why the weather changes, freeing Rebecca from this pocket dimension and also freeing her aunt Kate. Aunt Kate seems to be a key character for helping Amanda and the other children as she dedicated her time and risked her life to investigate the disappearances and free them. But down the line, she seems to have failed at some point or had the unfortunate luck of facing an angered out of control Amanda who lost control to this demonic entity, banishing and trapping her in a never-ending rainy night. That is why Aunt Kate is wearing the raincoat to keep dry, but she won't need that anymore as the weather changes, hence why she comes to the attic, finding her way back. Another hint that could fortify this theory is that the achievement unlocked getting this ending shows a detective figure with an ambiguous line suggesting this is not the end. Therefore, who could possibly be referred to a detective here? Apart from Aunt Kate, who was investigating the disappearances, taking the role of no other than a detective. Also, the name of the achievement suggests this is not the end, which could fortify this theory that the story has just begun, with Riley and Aunt Kate having to work harder to find Rebecca to free her from this digital dimension, detach this demonic entity from her, which is controlling her, and free all the other missing children, who possibly have transformed into inanimate objects such as meat, houses, stores, and more. This is why Amanda let Riley go and tested her character if she can be trusted and could face challenges, solving puzzles, as these characteristics would be important, finding Rebecca and uncovering the secrets of what truly had happened to her. As in the previous tapes, we see Amanda showing a burial site in the woods, also showing resilience going against the powerful evil organization by the name of Hamlin, which seemed to have wanted to experiment with other dimensions using an innocent orphan child, Rebecca. Finally, let's go over some points that could refute Sam Colton being this mysterious person. Sam in general was never seen as a detective or anyone who investigated anything, apart from being the loving father of Rebecca who created the show. Also, it wouldn't make much sense for Sam randomly appearing in the attic of the house of Kate Park, coming face to face with Riley, someone he probably doesn't even know. And finally, Sam seems to have been murdered by the production company Hamlin as he proved to be problematic to them, protecting his daughter, preventing them from using her as a test subject, so they had to get rid of him. Hamlin's acquisition of the program and Colton's recent disappearance have raised some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer have had subject matter that has left local parents uncomfortable about the program. It's not yet clear how Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter Rebecca, the show's young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. 
While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his daughter. We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of the spotlight to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. Rest assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. Sam appearing after the curse of Amanda as seemingly left dead doesn't make much sense as he wasn't trapped by Amanda, being his daughter Rebecca. In fact, he is probably dead, killed by the evil corporate organization Hamlin. Hence the burial site Amanda shows us could very likely be Sam's burial site actually, which angers and saddens a confused Amanda who is the representation of Rebecca, struggling to remember her past but the faint memories rushing back in front of her her every time. It would make much more sense for Aunt Kate being the one trapped by Amanda as she was deep in investigation of finding the missing children who watched the Amanda show, which means she got herself involved with Amanda. Therefore, being labeled as a detective trapped in the pocket dimension of Amanda and writing a letter to Riley to come and further investigate so she could possibly be freed, all point out to Aunt Kate being the mysterious person and to be a detective through the image of a detective in the Steam achievement. Knowing the achievement also says the end with a question mark, we know it is far from the end, with much more to follow. Alright folks, that's about it for the end of this video. What are your thoughts and opinions? Let me know in the comment section down below. And thank you for the comments that suggested what Rebecca was forced to recite in the recording studios was actually demonic names possibly. So calling out to them so they can be summoned and come to this dimension. Thank you guys for being here, it's been your host star, and I will catch you on the next video. Have a fantastic day.